have your notebook and a pen. We'll see Claw and Moose Cousins. Here, your best is always cool. Come and learn at Overall School. Hey, welcome to Overall School. Today, we're going to be talking about the sound that the letter L makes. You see it right here. There's a capital L and a lowercase L, and they're consonants, they're not vowels. So a consonant is pretty easy. It's the sound that you hear at the beginning of lollipop. Hey, hi, Claw. I have a question. Oh, I have an answer. What's your question? What's in your pocket? Oh, we were talking about lollipops today. I have two lollipops. What's a lollipop? A lollipop is candy that's on a stick that you can hold. Well, oh, you can hold the stick, but then you can't lick the lollipop. That's a problem. I also don't have a tongue. Oh, yeah, that would be a problem. You can't lick if you don't have a tongue. And you need your tongue to make the sound that you hear at the beginning of lollipop. You can see my tongue move. Lollipop. Yeah. My tongue gets right behind my teeth, or sometimes right through my teeth. L lollipop. Yeah, well, well, they could be one for you and one for me, except that I will give mine away. Oh, okay. Uh, which would you like to have? There's yellow, like my neck, or red, like my face. Right, so which one do you want? What flavors? Well, uh, this says cherry. Red is cherry, and yellow is lemon. Oh, lemon! Oh, good choice, because lemon lollipop has even more L's in it. Have you thought of what friend you're going to give it to? Hmm. Oh, Lily! Oh, Lily, yes! Your possum friend. She lives under the porch, doesn't she? Sometimes. Okay, so I'll say this for Lily, because she loves all kinds of things to eat. Oh, yes, she does. She comes out from the under the porch at night and eats all kinds of things. I put the compost out. What's that? That's extra food that I'm trying to think it will rot up and I can put it in my garden. But Lily gets to it first. I find her little teeth marks and her little footprints, and sometimes I see her. Cool. So Lily and Lolly, Pop and Lemon, you're right, and Lemon, all of those begin with the uh, sound of the letter L. In fact, look, this lowercase L looks like a lollipop stick. Cool. So the sound of the letter L is the sound you hear at the beginning of lollipop and lick. And we'll get make our lollipop stick, and then we'll lick it. I'll pretend. Okay, I'll say it, and you do it. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, nice job. You didn't even need me to pretend. You do it. Okay. Oh, 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 We just learned about the sound that the letter L makes that you hear at the beginning of the word lick and lollipop. In fact, that finger reminds me of a lowercase l right there. Capital L or uppercase L and lowercase l. These are probably two of the easiest letters to make, but we're not interested in making them right now. Right now, we're interested in the sound. So get your one hand ready and we will do, we're getting quite a collection here. This is pretty heavy. I hope it doesn't, I hope it stays sturdy and doesn't flip out there. Uh, L, ready? Oh, Short I, C, K, K, P, D, D, 
H. R. Er, short O. B. 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 F. G. 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 L. Oh, 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 again. Oh, 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 one more time. Oh, 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 oh. Uppercase L, lowercase L, both are antler letters. Uppercases are always antler letters. But lowercases, here's a seven, nice and easy vertical horizontal and a vertical the only way i've seen sloppy l's is sometimes people slant them or they don't use the box uh, the bottom of the box very well but i think it's a pretty easy one well here we go a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. L is another one of the floss letters. If it's at the end of a word, it often has a twin, another L, L, L. Lowercase letters, you know where we're stopping. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. There it is. Sometimes there will be another L, a twin, at the end of a word. Not the beginning, an end of a word. So think, guys, ladies, and gentlemen, what words begin with O, O, O? Yes, lollipop. That would be an easy one to draw, I think, too. Just the stick and then the candy. Oh, 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 oh. Can you think of any? Oh, lemon. Oh, those are sour. But you squish them up and then you put sugar in and you can make a lemonade out of lemons. Tasty. What else? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, lips. Yes. Your lips don't show up very much, do they? Because of your fur. I can't really see your lips. I know they're in there. But you can see my lips. I have an upper lip and a lower lip. I use my lips especially when I say the sound of M. Mmm. Because they go together. Or the sound of P. Because then they pop apart. Lips are important if you want to pronounce words correctly. Lips. Hmm. Anything else? Let me give you a hint. I can think of one. No, not breathe. Breathe begins with b, 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 b. I'm thinking of the, what's inside my body that gets, fills up with air and then goes away. They're called lungs. Take a deep breath and then let it go. You've just filled your lungs and then emptied them. Lungs. You also have a liver inside you. Science, the science of inside your body is really cool. But we'll have to learn about that. Learn about that maybe another time. Right now, we need to get going here, guys. Uh, you're ready to draw? Well, who's the helper today? Oh, Liam. Liam, yes. Let me write your name down. Liam. You have two vowels in your name, and, and vowels are tricky. There is no E in Liam. Isn't that weird? Liam. Capital or uppercase L. The E sound is made by an I. 
Lee, and then this sounds like an uh, the lazy schwa sound. Liam. Liam. Tomorrow, if we have another short name, we can fit it on there. If not, we'll have to go down to the next line. We'll have to wait until tomorrow uh, to see about that. Liam. Oh, listen, Liam, to your friends. And look, friends, at what Liam will illustrate. Listen and look. Both begin with L. Liam, here you go, buddy. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Let's see what Liam and the cousins have made. Oh, I see a leaf and lick, yeah, on the tongue out, and ladder. And this one? Oh, a log. That does look like a log. Liam, nice job with that detail on the end. Log. Claw, what would you like to draw today? It's time for draw. Claw. All right, what would you like to draw that begins with the ol, 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 ol sound? Lion. Okay, a lion. You could help me by telling me what you do. Okay. Let's see. Well, first you hold the marker. Yes. That way, that's good. Okay, I tell you what, we're just, you want to just draw the head or the whole body? Head. Oh, head, Okay. Uh, let's see, then you want to make a tall oval. Ooh, that came out nicely. Now, right here for his nose, you want to make the number 11. Claw, this is turning out very nicely. You're getting better. Now, at the bottom of the 11, I want you to draw a triangle with the point at the bottom. Okay, and at the top, I want you to draw two sideways ovals for the eyes. Okay, um, how about some ears? Rounded ears up here, kind of like a, a letter C that's crooked. And it needs a mouth, kind of like a cat mouth. It is a big cat. Remember how we had a little bit of a curve on those, th those sides there? And whisk. Oh, what? And whiskers. Okay, you put whiskers on. Let's 
stay high. I'm going to hold it that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, well, that's plenty. There might be more than six, but we don't need to draw every little whisker. Did you know that lions even have whiskers on their chin and on their feet? They have whiskers other places too. You know what, Claw? His eyes look like they need eyeballs, those, those irises that we talked about. Now, if, if you're going to draw one on this side, you draw both on this side. If you draw one on this side, you draw both on that side so he can look this way or that way or in the center. How about you draw them so that they're looking at me? Okay, then this one also has to come over there. Ooh, turning out very nicely. Now, right now, this is a lioness. A girl? A girl, uh, because there is no mane. Some lions have big manes. Some lions have small manes, but they're only the boys have the manes. Do you want them to have a mane? Yes, please. Okay. Well, then all around here, you're just going to draw bumpy lines. Okay. Very nice job following directions for lion. Thanks. You're welcome. Liam. 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 <laughs> you're the wrong way up there. Liam, you're making me laugh. Come on down here. Are you ready to help us with the letter L? Okay. Lowercase L. Okay, you're right. Every, the last couple uh, friends have had their uppercase letters, so we'll make yours. Yours? Ah, right here. Antler letter. Ooh, you have a nice easy one of straight lines. Oh, I tell you what, we'll put this here. You be the antler. Antler letter. Okay. Liam, I'm going to start above the box because here's the antler just one ant oh just one antler get one get that other antler tucked in there okay we're gonna come down and then we're gonna slide across the bottom line that's the capital letter the uppercase letter that begins liam but we don't have uppercase letters in words very often we have mostly lowercase letters so here it's all also an antler letter just straight down. You have the easiest one to make. Antler letter, straight down. Now I say that it's easy. So sometimes friends will go too fast and they'll go like this and they'll slant. That's not a good one. Or they'll slant this way. That's not a good one. Or they'll go too fast and not be a good stopper. That's not a good one. No, no, no. We want it to look like this. So ready, Liam? Okay. I'll I'll tell them we've been we've been talking about that a little bit when I've been helping other friends. But when you hold uh, your marker or your pen or your pencil, pretend that these two fingers are claw. You can just hold right down there, and then the other fingers can just hold an imaginary ball. Or real ball but it's kind of big. Let me see. Oh no there is a little ball in here. Here. Here and here. So you try it Liam. No we're not going to hold the ball. That's just an imaginary ball. I just showed that to the kids. Let's make our dot box dot box and then L. Lowercase l, five of them. Maybe a better stopper. And make it straight. We don't want it wiggly. Ooh, nice job, Liam. Oh. Okay, go look. Look at your work. Find the best one and then make five more even better. Oh, 
That was a capital. Okay, well, circle your best lowercase L. And then we'll show the kids. You like that. Practice makes progress. Okay, it's time for a little break. If you want to keep writing, that's fine. If you have some drawing you want to finish, that's fine. You want to work on a pattern, that's fine. But if you want a wiggle break, stand up. Take a big breath and let it out. And another one. With your fingers and your hand I guess just this would be fingers and your hands and your elbows and your shoulders and your head and your belly and backside and knees and your whole body and then we'll try this song it's called step in time Pick your feet up, step in time. Pick your feet up, step in time. Never need a reason, never need a rhyme. Pick your feet up, step in time. Flap your elbows, step in time. Flap your elbows, step in time. Never need a reason, never need a rhyme. Flap your elbows, step in time. Hmm. What's another one we could do? You think of it. You can do it with your body, and I'll just do the step in time, step in time, step in time, step in time. Never need a reason, never need a rhyme, never need a reason. Step in time. Turn around and step in time. Turn around and step in time. Never need a reason, never need a rhyme. Turn around and step in time. Sit back down and step in time. Sit back down and step in time. Never need a reason, never need a rhyme. Sit back down and step in time. Oh. Is the beginning of the word lay and lie, which so many people get mixed up. If you lie down, if you are putting yourself down, that's lying down. I'm going to lie down. If you do it to something else, I'm going to lay this rock on the rail. People say, I'm going to lay down. No, 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 no. You're going to lie down. You would lay something else down. Where did I lay my glasses? I can't find them but I'm going to lie down. If I'm doing it to my body, it's lie. How many sounds do you hear in the word lie? Let's try it. I'll use the rail, you use your arm. I'll put up moose friends, you can put up imaginary friends for lie, lie. Two sounds, two sounds in lie. How about lay? Lay. Two sounds in lay. How about lick? Lick. Three sounds in lick. And if you remember, it's going to be four letters because there are two friends that get together to make the k sound. Right. So for lick, we need O. E. Oh, you need a friend. Here's a friend. You two friends get close together, close together. Because you're a CK. Can you see that K in CK? Hmm. Okay. So here we have it. O A K. Lick. Reading helps us write. Writing helps us read. And we're learning to spell as well. Okay. If we have lick, let's change that now. We change the vowel. 
We don't have a short I anymore. We have a short O. So what word would this be? I'll make the motions. You can make the motions and the sound. Lock. O -a -k. Lock. Well, I'm going to keep the, you there, but I'm going to take all the rest of these off. Friends, you can jump down, okay? And actually, I'm gonna move you to the end of the word. And if I move you to the end of the word, you're going to be one of the floss letters. We're going to need two L's. So you need a friend. Here. Oh, okay, I'll pick you. We'll get, get you two close together because you're going to be at the end of this word and we'll see if my friends can figure it out. Hmm. Here's the beginning sound. And here's the vowel sound. Get your one hand in your voice. I'll just get my one hand and no, no voice. For two L's, I can use two hands or I could just use two fingers. The choice is yours. But we have to figure it out. Hill. <gasps> hill. Hill. A hill is a little mountain, not a big one. Hmm, you guys stay there, but I'm gonna trade your beginning letter for this one. Oh, now we have a, at the beginning. It's a kind of pickle. D, ill, dill. And you know what? If I took you away, we would have a word that means sick ill. If you're ill, I hope you get better soon. Come back. Now we have dill. But I'm going to change your letter now, your vowel. And we need a vowel. Every word that we have has to have a vowel in it. I couldn't put a consonant in with you, but I can give you a vowel. Now, what is this word? All. Doll. Right. Well, let's write some of these words. Here's the Moose Friends LL page, or pages. And we'll write the word that has LL at the end. Doll. Dot box. Doll. D is an antler letter. O is a box letter. And LL are twin antlers. Doll. Doll. Hmm. Want to change that to dill? Like the kind of pickle? Dill. D. Ill. Dill. Actually, what gives that pickle that flavor, there's a plant called dill. I used to have it in my garden till the deer came along and ate it. The bucks and the does came along and ate the dill. So I don't have dill anymore, but I can just go to the grocery store and buy pickles, dill pickles. Okay. Oh, and if this is dill, try hill. An antler letter. <gasps> Ill. Hill. And now for a sentence. Dot 
box. My pig is sick. My pig is sick. Oh, wait, we haven't had the word my. Ah, this is a great one. This is a great one. You know, at the end, we always talk about the vowels. A, E, I, O, U, that's all. And sometimes Y. Well, there's a Y acting like a vowel in the word my. I don't have it on my word bank yet. I have capital T, the, and lowercase t, the. I have is and C. I'm going to get my marker working here. And I'm going to write the word my. If it's at the beginning of a sentence, then I need a capital M. Why? If I have it at the middle, in the middle of a sentence or the end of a sentence, I need a lowercase m. Why? So, if our sentence is, my pig is sick, would I need a capital M, my, or a lowercase m, my? Capital. Big Moose loves capital letters. So at the start of a sentence, my. So, let's see. Dot box, my. Capital M, my. Oh, and if you forget how to make those, because it's been a while, there's the M. You can make the slants come to the top of the box, or you can slant it further down, but I like the slants coming to the top of the box. So my slant, slant. There's two antler bumps up there. My, and sometimes Y is the leg letter. My, space, pig, p, e, g, space, is. Ooh, that's another one from our word bank. Is. Sounds like a Z, but it's an S, I, S. My pig is space sick sick. at the end of a word is a CK. And then I'm done with the sentence. And I'm telling you, my pig is sick. Then I would put a period. If I'm quite upset, my pig is sick. Again, I would put an exclamation. My pig is sick. So let me draw a sick pig. Hmm. You can finish this if you need to, but I'm gonna draw here's I'm gonna start with the nose. And there's the nostrils. And here's his head. He's gonna have kind of ears that are coming down there. He's gonna have eyes. But he's if I make those eyebrows slanty, it makes him look sick. Eyebrows can do so much in a picture. And his, there's a little tiny mouth. My pig is sick. Here's a body, here's a front leg and a back leg and a front leg and a back leg and a curly tail. You know what, I'm even gonna make his tail droopy. My pig is sick. L is a consonant. You hear the sound at the beginning of lick and lollipop. And at the end of the word vowel, we have five vowels. And today, for our sight words, I think it's going to be kind of fun. Uh, let's say the vowels. A-E-I-O-U. That's all. And sometimes Y. I can't make my Y and point to the Y at the same time. I like to go Y. But the vowels that we've talked about so far, the short A, ah, 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 the short I, eh, 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 and the short O, 
ah, 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 are in these words. This one. All, ah, s, t. Put them together. Lost. The next word is going to be almost exactly the same, but the vowel changes. This one has an I. Figure it out. List. Yes, when I write a lot of things down, I make a list. Lost is when I can't find something. List. I make a lot of lists. The next one is going to look almost the same, but the vowel changes. This one has an A. Ah. O, A, S, T, last. It's the one at the very end. This is the last thing we do in overall school. Well, except for Claude, he comes for the joke. But last, this is the last thing that Mrs. Overall does in overall school. I'm going to put these words. Last, lost, and list at the front of our sight words. List. Last. Lost. Stop. See. List. The. An. A. On. Did last our birthday lost list if am can your said in I it big Kitty, big kitty. At you, man, Tyrannosaurus had Anaconda. Add, look, insect, from, him, and, got, Not stop see the an a. Uh. It looks like it's a good time to quit. 
see you next time at Overall School. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> Hey, why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to the other slide.